that MSNBC decided they wanted to give a an analysis, <laughs> an analysis, right, of how Bernie Sanders performed. Um, I didn't go to school for engineering. I'm sure you didn't either. But let's be honest, it doesn't really take a rocket science, uh, a rocket scientist to predict what they're going to say as far as whether or not Bernie Sanders won or lost the debate. In their minds, Bernie could never do anything to win that debate. Uh, and uh, I think we all know that. But a couple of the things that they said in this, this video was, was absolute insanity. So we're going to check it out really quick. Let's take a moment. listen. Um, it's harder to suss out some of the losers. I think Bernie uh, is a great example of a place where everyone wasn't sure what to make of his performance. I sort of thought he faded into the background. Uh, he didn't have a big standout moment. And his polls have sort of uh, faltered a little, but not monumentally. Can you think so, it was so I want to be very clear about something. Uh, do I believe Bernie could have been more aggressive in some instances? Yeah, probably. Here's the problem with that. Remember the last time that Bernie was over, quote unquote overly aggressive in the debates when other women were involved? He was called a sexist. So it's like if he gives people the, the proper amount of time to speak and let them finish out their thoughts and doesn't get involved in, in petty squabbles, he's not being aggressive enough. If he's being aggressive, pushing for his policies and holding people accountable during, during the debates, then he's fading into the background. Hmm. And then the polls, the polls, people, because we all know how reliable the polls have been in the past. The same polls that have had Joe Biden beating Bernie Sanders, despite the fact that B Bernie has over a million individual donors, despite the fact that Bernie has over a million in, uh, ind uh, individual volunteers, despite the fact that Bernie has more money than the entire Democratic Party and all of its fundraising arms combined. Yeah, those polls, they have them slipping a little bit. Come on. And who they go, who they switch to? Kamala? Biden? Okay. Let's hear what other nonsensical assertions they want to make about the debates. Yeah, of, of, of Bernie being Bernie. Like if, if, there's all, if there were a hall of the states for losers that lose these elections. You know, no, he's not a loser, but he loses elections. He would be behaving like that. Automaton. That was Bernie being Bernie, the way that Larry David portrayed. I was just going to say Larry David, Chris. No, I think it, with a, with one other candidate in the race, Bernie being Bernie was fine in 2016, or rather, it served him well. But on a stage with nine other candidates and with now 25 people in the race, um, you're you know, so smart. You know, and that's a, <laughs> you know, that's exactly. Whenever somebody says something, I've been thinking better than I do. Now I'm not going to lie. Uh. There is some truth to what she said, a little bit. Um, Bernie does have to distinguish himself more because people are stealing his policies. And they're claiming it as their own. Hell, the mainstream tried to literally give Warren credit for everything that he has either introduced or helped to make popular. It's ridiculous. Uh, so there is something to be said for Bernie having to basically separate himself in that particular class. He needs to show that he is different, that he is the real deal, that he is the OG, that he is the grandfather of, or the godfather of the progressive, the contemporary progressive movement. So I will agree with her there. I thought it's very hard to talk revolution when there's nine people around you, they're not in the revolution. How do you claim there's a revolution going on when you got all these Andrew Yang and everybody else there? Well, and he's also saying the same thing he said in 2016 this time around. I think that's not working. That's exactly the point I was going to make, is that he, America has evolved in the last four years. People's perspectives have changed. Bernie Sanders sounds like 2015 Bernie Sanders. I, and if you... If you ex so I will say, first of all, so the woman, the blonde on the left... <laughs> <laughs> the one who's trying to give an analysis on who won and didn't win the debate and what works and will not work in an election. <laughs> this is a former Hillary Clinton campaign staff. <laughs> this is one of the women giving Hillary Clinton advice in 2016. <laughs> listen, listen. 
I know we can all grow. I know we can all learn from our mistakes. But, lo, baby, Jesus, you have absolutely zero room and zero credibility to talk about what Bernie should do in 2019 to win an election. You didn't know what to do when the election was basically handed to you on a platter. Okay? Y'all didn't know if you wanted to kind of copy Bernie, but still stay a centrist, but lie about some things, but tell the truth about things, but pretend. Like, y'all didn't know what the hell you were doing in 2016, and you got the nerve to try to come and tell Bernie what to do in 2020. How about you worry about winning the race you were part of before you try to tell Bernie? Now, the, uh, the, the woman on the right makes a point. The country has evolved since 2016. It has. Uh... And a lot of them have evolved alongside Bernie. Let's be clear about that. Like I just said, the country has evolved. They've become more politically active. And what results have come from that? I don't know. A million individual volunteers. I don't know if you saw the video of Bernie in Iowa or the other uh, campaign in Iowa with a line wrapped around the damn door for volunteers, not for a rally, to volunteer, bruh. So... For her to say that the country has evolved and therefore Bernie isn't popular anymore or his ideas aren't popular, his ideas are not stale. If they were stale, everyone else wouldn't be stealing them. Okay? Kamala wouldn't have to lie about Medicare for All. Elizabeth Warren wouldn't have to lie about uh, uh, Medicare for All. Elizabeth Warren, they wouldn't be coming up with basically neoliberal centrist moderate versions of the plans Bernie has already e either introduced or popularized really yeah the country has evolved a lot of that evolution has come from Bernie Sanders revolution see what I did right there let's see what other nonsense they want to try and put uh, push onto the American people about Bernie Sanders performance expected some evolution and you haven't gotten it from him uh, a lot of people try to I see been stolen his lines from the left because you've got Kamala, much younger, mm -hmm. talking pretty hard stuff, pretty strong, progressive stuff. Mm -hmm. Kamala is not talking pretty strong, progressive stuff. Where are they getting this stuff from? What is the definition of progressive? Not neoconservative? That's basically what they're answer. If you're not a neocon, you're a progressive. No, no, no. That's not how it works, but... Elizabeth has been out there for four years selling it, and she says it in a somewhat more subtle way. I'm not a socialist. I'm a Democrat. I, I believe in markets, but I want to refine them. I want structural change. Very carefully calibrating how far left the country's willing to go. Still, Bernie's out there with the old... Yeah, I think so, Chris, and I also think that voters know that Bernie Sanders has been talking about these same policies essentially since he's been in public service for the past 25, 30 years, but he actually hasn't done anything to pass them, right? He's talked a lot about them, but we have not seen any of these policies signed into law, so you've got... Whoa, 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 whoa. What did this woman just say? He's talked about a lot of these policies but hasn't first it was, hasn't done anything to pass them what was that didn't he just hold up he just introduced medicare for all uh didn't he just get amazon workers like 15 dollars minimum wage has he introduced 15 dollars minimum wage legislation am i crazy for that the yemen bill uh got passed uh tulsi and rokana worked on it in the house bernie and i think it was just bernie honestly Bernie got it pushed through in the Senate, and the only reason it didn't go all the way through was because Trump didn't sign it. Uh, isn't Bernie known as the Amendment King for everything that he's done? He's even reached across the aisle to get things done. That's just at the Senate, the federal level. What about all the stuff that he's done in Burlington? I'm confused. Listen, once again, former Hillary Clinton staffer saying all this, so take it with a grain of salt. But come, the f really? He hasn't done anything to get these stuff passed? What about all that campaigning he did to galvanize people, to educate them on the issues for the last two to three years instead of just fading into the black like Hillary Clinton did unless it was time for somebody to pay for a ticket to go see her? <laughs> Which, by the way, those sales didn't go very well. But he hasn't done it. That's a how disingenuous can you be? That's a lie. That is a literal lie. 
he doesn't do anything. He doesn't get anything done. Except for all the things that he's gotten done. And not to mention, <laughs> let's be honest. The things that, if, if you're going to make that argument, why aren't you making that argument against Elizabeth Warren? Huh? I, I, huh? She's actually one of the most ineffective senators sitting right now. You know that, right? And she has all these plans that she couldn't have put that much thought into because, well, let's be honest, she hasn't actually introduced any of these plans into the House, or excuse me, into the Senate. Unlike Bernie, where even if he doesn't, do, doesn't have the plan passed because we have a Republican uh, president or because we have a Republican legislature at the moment, they already crafted, ready to go, ready to be pushed the moment that he gets into office. We don't have to sit here and debate about the semantics of the, in the details of the bill. We don't have to wonder how it's going to be implemented because he's already done the, the heavy lifting. All he has to do is get it passed. We have no idea what Elizabeth Warren's policies would actually look like in practice because she's never introduced anything of significance in the Senate, ever. So why are we not asking those same questions of Elizabeth Warren if you're going to make that argument? Out of curiosity. Like I said, it's Hillary Clinton Stafford. Let's keep things in perspective, eh? Okay? So uh, I would love to know what your thoughts are about this. Their assessment is nonsense. Bernie could have been more aggressive. Um, but when I say more aggressive, I think he should have went further left. I think he should have claimed his policies as his own and not allow them to take them from him. His policies have not grown stale. They've become more and more popular. Like, what the hell? Clearly, or are everybody, you even said, hey, they're, uh, Kamala and Elizabeth Warren are saying some pretty progressive stuff. Okay. Why? Because she mentioned Medicare for all. You're, and whose policy is that? Or who at least popularized it? It's Bernie Sanders. His policy, how are you going to say in the same breath his policies went stale, but Elizabeth Warren got a copy of them, uh, Kamala got a pretend she supports them. They talk, it's like a, a, a circle of contradiction. Doesn't make any sense. But let me know what your thoughts are about this. Leave a like in the comment below and make sure more than anything else, people, find your balance. Peace. Thanks for watching that segment of Mikasa Sukasa. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, on Roku TV, and on justinform.com. Also, you can make sure that you're subscribed to the channel by going to the subscribe button, pressing it, and hitting that notification bell to get all of our notifications. And of course, you can help us reach our goal of 500 patrons on Patreon by supporting the show by donating as little as a dollar. You can click on the link in the description below for that. And remember, more than anything else, find your balance.